Are you ready to create a life of self-love? If so, you are in the right spot. My name is Sam, and I'm the community host and founder of Safe Heart Connections. We're an online community group of women who are working on improving their lives by creating a life of self-love and making connections along the way. And I'm doing a 30-day process of going through um, an affirmation, a task, and a journal prompt that I believe that after those 30 days, you'll be well on your way of creating a life of self-love and putting this together into a journal. And so I'm encouraging you to do the process as we do them here. But at the end of this, you'll be able to actually purchase the journal on Amazon or get a digital copy from me. And you will always be able to go through these things again and again, because this is not a one-time thing for sure. So here's day two of creating a life of self-love, and I'm so glad you're here. So our affirmation for the day is going to be, I embrace my imperfections and celebrate my uniqueness. And this is such a cool thing. A lot of times we think that our imperfections are bad and they're really not. They're part of what makes us unique. What if we started to celebrate those and actually the fact that we're unique? So I embrace my imperfections and celebrate my uniqueness. Our self-love task for the day is to practice deep breathing for five minutes to calm your mind and your body. There's lots of different ways you can do this. One of my favorite is something I learned from Coach Dale, and it's the four by four breathing. A lot of people do it. Apparently, the Navy SEALs do it. Lots of people know it. You breathe in for four, hold for four, and breathe out for four. Breathe in for four, hold for four, out for four. If you don't want to do that, you can truly just sit in your chair, get comfortable, close your eyes, set a timer, and just focus on your breathing in and out. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It literally can just be taking the time to focus on your breathing and breathe in deeper than normal, get more oxygen into your body. And then your self-love daily journal prompt for today is going to be talking about a challenge or a setback. And typically I like to focus on the good in the world um, and what's happening that's good in our life. But sometimes when we focus on a challenge and then we focus on what we learned and how we were able to give ourselves compassion and growth from that, it really is an act of self-love. So take a few minutes today and reflect on something that wasn't so good and then how you maybe were able to show yourself compassion or if you didn't in that moment, what could you do now to show yourself some love and some compassion? What could you do now to show yourself some love and some compassion? I hope you'll come back for day three and throughout the whole process uh, to join us on this journey of creating a life of self-love. Because I believe when you really do take the time to do this, at the end of the 30 days, you're going to be able to look back and think, wow, this is how far I've come.